All right, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, and take you on a little tour here. I had a video I thought I was recording about a uh, skeleton spawner. Hang on, I have to deal with this sheep. Oops, did I just... Yes, I did. Okay, screw that. Bark, bark. Okay. So the sheep didn't cause any damage, but I did trying to deal with the sheep. That was really smart. Okay. What time is it? Good. I'm hungry. Okay, so this is my home base here, which I did the little tour of. And it's it's on top of a little mountain hill sort of thing. And over across the way is a, uh, is a little cave system that I found a zombie spawner in. And I was using it as an experience farm, and everything was good. Hang on a second. There's obviously another cave over here with beasties of some sort in it. Because um, I hear sounds there, but there's nothing spawning. And I had a little a little stretch of bad luck. Uh, I came over to my experience farm, which was right up here. And there's a, uh, there's a zombie spawner in here. And I cleaned out the room. <coughs> pardon me. And I... Um, I got all lit up, I got it sized up, and then I I constructed a wall here that was like two two uh, blocks tall, so the zombies couldn't get out, and I could stand up here and just whack them away with the, the sword. It was a real basic uh, spawner trap, and since they were zombies and there was not really any risk of them shooting me or, or um, getting out, it worked pretty well. Uh, and one of the downsides was Sometimes the experience would show up way in the back over here and it wouldn't make its way out No experience blobs So I would have to step up on the wall and creep my way over and I was doing that one time and I fell in which was no fun I fended off the zombies got my way out and um <sighs> One zombie followed me out. He was wearing full suit of armor. He had a sword. It looked like it was glowing. Maybe I'm just making it up that it was all enchanted. Anyway, he killed me. Uh, so, went back to my home base. Grabbed some stuff. Came back over to try and pick up all my all my stuff. Because I had uh, my nice uh, sword and pickaxe with me. And uh, he was still there. Killed me again. And... Uh, so then I went and and made myself a whole new suit of uh, diamond armor. Um, used up most of my diamond in the process, uh, which wasn't so smart. And came back over to kick the butt of the uh, the zombie that 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 got me, which I did. But the problem is then. Um, I was I, I used up a lot of my uh, oh here's just making that noise that sounds like a skeleton dying somewhere oh is there a hole up here there must be should figure out where that is oh oh there's dark up there anyway <coughs> Came back over to the spawner, uh, killed the skeleton, got my stuff, or what was left of it, lost some of my stuff in the process, and uh, so that wasn't that was no good. So I decided to, to cool off a little bit and or try to cool off a little bit, and what time is it? It's still daylight. Um, decided to go over into the, to the nether 
because there was some stuff I needed and as, as I mentioned before the uh, the nether portal that I have here at my home base leads to a really bad spot in the nether uh, but I had been through and, and been okay so I stepped through and there was a angry skeleton waiting for me which was no fun um, he started beat me up pretty bad and and trying to just get away in order to deal with him I fell off of a very large cliff where the portal on the nether side is located and uh, fell into a big lake of lava which uh, is no fun so the hang on I need some stuff here uh, this is what I'm looking for hey just making that noise where is that zombie sorry he might be underneath my cantilever overhang hmm So, of course, getting killed um, in the nether, of course, eliminated all the experience I'd picked up from the experience spawner. And uh, so that sucks. So I went back over to my experience farm and still steaming a little bit from being killed three times in a row. So I went into... Uh, Went back over to the experience spawner and there was a creeper inside it. Creeper had spawned on the inside. <coughs> and I figured since I I put my little perch up in a place where I was safe from the zombies, I figured it was probably safe from the creeper. Um, I was very, very wrong about that. Stepped up to smack him on the head and he triggered, he lit his fuse. I tried to scramble away as best as I could. And of course, uh, couldn't get far enough away. He blew up and he took out the spawner with him. Where is that? Is he on my roof? I wouldn't think so. No. I sometimes have guys spawning on the dirt tower that I made. Interesting. I may have a cave system down there or something that I'm not aware of yet. Okay. So anyway, Creeper took out my zombie spawner, which was really sad um, and kind of annoying. So, I then uh, went back and started concentrating on the, uh, the cave system over by the away base that I established in the, the villager, the village that I, that I took over. Leveled off the mountain that covered the, uh, the cave entrance and uh, started exploring down there and I found another spawner. This was a skeleton spawner. It was a... Uh, um it was it was actually kind of relatively close to the surface so it wasn't too bad in too bad of a spot and uh so i decided to turn it into a trap and i tried to do it in a slightly different way uh the zombie spawner i had would only work uh only work because the zombies can't shoot at you and of course the skeletons can so i needed to uh come up with a better approach as we sit and watch sunset. So, um, let me show that to you. Hang on a second. Let's go to sleep so I can walk there safely during the daylight. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay.
Oop, I have to be careful here. I'm in the process of automating my farm here. I'll show you that in a later video. Uh, found a little flaw with the design, so I'm going to have to redo it a little bit. All right. So as I... Oops. Oh, don't need to swim. Okay. There's the village. It's actually pretty close. In fact, I tried because of that nether spawner. Went to a, to a bad spot. I, I built another portal over in the village. Turned out not to be far enough away. It links to the same spot. But the cool thing about that is I can step into the spawn uh, into the uh, into the gate here, and then pop directly back into the gate in the nether, and it transports me back to my home base. You know, within 10 seconds, which is kind of cool. All right. So I have plans for these portals, um, and I hope to record most of that. Uh, but we will, we shall see. Okay. Now I still get spawns in here in the cave system, or just outside at night. I'm not sure which it is. Um, and there's still a section of the caves over here. Yeah, that I have yet to explore and, and safe, but this works pretty well. Okay, so came over here to my secret skeleton killing room. And I made a little uh, door here just to save me from anything that did manage to spawn back behind there. I have an infinite water source, which I needed. Um, so here's the spawners behind here. I made a little escape route. Which I closed off in dirt, so if I need to get back in, this is how I would do it. You can hear the skeletons back there going away. It's a pretty standard water push trap. Let me go down into the killing room. And here we are. So I've got... Uh, do I have any... Yeah, so I've got a stone, stone sword here. So I've got some storage crafting table furnace anvil and so on and basically I'm getting so many arrows and bones that I don't know what to do with them and I built a uh, enchanting table set up here and I know I used more bookcases than you actually need I just like the way it looked and uh, so this is the the killing room here so this, the skeletons are pushed off to the side um, and then into a trench which then they're pushed along the trench into one corner of the uh, the spawner room which is right up here above this block here and then I have this little um, two sticky pistons with two blocks here and there's a pressure plate here <laughs> uh, so I can uh, come up here I've got a block here to keep me from getting too close so I don't accidentally uh, set off any creepers any that might come down so I can open up the the thing there they're falling down into a two block pit which is on the top of these two this block and the block above it behind this one that you can't see and uh, I can open it up and they all fall down and I can then bash away with them and they keep falling so I can bash away with them or I can close the door Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. and now they now they basically become one hit kills There we go, and they drop all kinds of crazy stuff. Let me close it off here, and I can get rid of my excess uh, excess arrows. So now I pretty much always have a stack of arrows on me. Um, let's give you some, and uh, a stack of bones. I'm carrying stuff here I don't really need. And then I have uh, room to sort of store some armor armor drops. Oops. Alright. Not enchanted. And then this one, I they drop a lot of bows, and including a lot of enchanted bows. Uh, so I, I hang on to those, just because although I've got a pretty good enchanted bow, um, I'm still looking for a uh, an infinity enchantment. So let's go pick up some excess arrows, because I like having a full stack on me. 
And, um, and the other nice thing is I have this pressure plate here, which in the event that should be really rare, I get one of those baby zombies to come out, out into the room here, I can step over onto the thing and it closes the door. And it just closes it while I'm standing on the pressure plate. So as you can see, it's actually a pretty productive farm. Turn down the game sounds a little bit here. Uh, so you see, it's a, it's actually a pretty productive farm, um, and you have the ability to control whether it is um, whether it automatically kills them. So you're just trying to pick up pick up drops or if you want to get the experience um, I wanted I wanted the flexibility to do it either way I, there's a lot of mob farm tutorials on YouTube that you can check out and uh, some of them are really complicated uh, they have water elevators and big old drops and and all sorts of stuff that uh, you, know, you don't necessarily oops. Um, sorry, let me get rid of some of this stuff here. I wanted to start bringing over paper, bookmaking materials, and, and paper, and sugar cane, and all that good stuff, so that I can um, start making some enchanted books and just use the uh, use the resources here. I want to clear up some space here. Don't really need all this cobblestone keep cobblestone sticks here so I can make sword uh, stone swords they're really cheap and I need to keep that on me this I think can stay okay and then I pick up the the bows and I, I intend to make a incinerator here um, just to get rid of unwanted items because like all these unenchanted bows I just have no need for um, so until I get that, I just throw them into my little pool here. My little water pool, they eventually despawn. Okay, so that is it. I can stay over here. This, this area is pretty spawn proof. It's pretty safe. And, uh, and then I can stay down in the killing room, uh, for quite some time. With the clock on my item bar here, I can tell what time of day it is and when it's safe to re-emerge. And as you can see, I've got 28 levels of experience right now. I uh, came over here with 24 or 25. It's pretty productive and uh, it, I think it works really well. Okay, so let me show you because I lost all the video footage of me actually building and um, building and arming the trap. And the arming of the trap got a little bit exciting. So let me go to my, my creative world here. So this is the the redstone behind it. Uh, so this is basically an outdoor prototype of the door system. So we've got the door I can close and open. Uh, I got the pressure plate here, which will momentarily close the door. Uh, okay, so then, uh, then the the drop here. I actually have a couple of um, dispensers up there with spawn eggs, so I can then come here and and you know got it sort get it all sorted out uh, so this is what happens I've got two two pistons here two sticky pistons blocks at the end um, the lever is on a block that's attached to the lower piston but it's on top of the block and that way it powers both the top piston directly and the bottom piston through the block then over behind the wall I have the uh, pressure plate goes down to a piece of redstone which powers a block it turn has a redstone torch on so it essentially toggles this off when the pressure plate is stepped on which then allows this redstone torch to toggle on which powers the uh, a block attached to the top the back of the top piston and that that effectively powers both pistons as well so both so the pressure plate is momentary and the lever is on off it's toggled so and I have a uh, prototype kill room down here 
Come on. Uh, so you can see same basic thing, right? Open, close, pressure plate, and so on. Now, let's go on to the inside of, oops, I left, oops, I left the, uh, I left some space here so I could get into it. So this here is like my little escape hatch. And this is how I set up the inside of the uh, the spawner room. Somebody's outside. So I, I put, I'm using blue wool here because I was experimenting with burning it away. Doesn't work. Don't, don't worry about doing that. So I, I surrounded the outside of two sides leading to my escape hatch with dirt blocks. I put torches on the edge of it to give me some additional light. I put torches on every single square on the floor, uh, which is probably excessive, but it certainly helped prevent anything spawning prematurely. Um, I also put torches on all but the front of the spawner. Uh, and that's primarily because the front of the spawner was a little difficult to get to. So I set all this up. So this is, I carved out a nine by nine by five room with the spawner at the exact center. This stuff at the top, I didn't include in the spawner over there, but it can, it will prevent mobs from spawning on top of the spawner and potentially not falling into the trap. But I figured meh, that's not that big of a deal and it's going to be pretty rare. So one edge, uh, I dug a two deep trench and put a water source block at that end. So it pushes over here and naturally ends at, um, naturally pushes the mobs off into a two block tall uh, hole which is really the top of that two block door so the the sticky piston um, is right there behind on the other side of this block here so then what I did was I got myself my water bucket and um, and I'll actually go through the process here of, of arming the trap and show you what I did. Um, while I was doing it, because there are skeletons, I kind of screwed a couple things up and they, uh, I fell into the trap at one point. It was a, that got a little exciting, but um, but it worked okay. So from up here, I can place the first water block here, and you just need to make sure you're not standing on top of the one. And of course, you only need to place the water source blocks every other because the ones in between, they will turn into source blocks. You can see it's all turning still. And then in the corner. So now all of these here. Oh, that's interesting. I must be missing one. I am. To cheat here. Oh, the missing one there. So it brushed all of the uh, the torches off into the thing. So of course I'll get them back. And while I was up over here, I knocked that torch off. Then when I got up over here, I knocked that torch off. And then continue to just take out the dirt blocks. Having a shovel is a useful thing. And then take out dirt blocks as I back my way into there. And then take out that one and and then I simply took some dirt and built it and sealed it up and then from there I was able to get out now of course I didn't have this upper chamber this was meant as a light trap for me in uh, creative mode but then I was able to come down into my kill room open up the door and look here's all my torches <laughs> so I got them all back so uh, that armed the trap and then all it was just a matter of waiting now this what I've got here is a, is a pig trap um, so eventually we will get some pigs spawning in there but um, um, but that's basically what I did oh, stupid spider go climbing on the nether rack uh, so one nice thing about this uh, being in creative mode, they have the spawn egg. So I was actually able to come up and say, okay, well, let's 
to spend some skeletons into the trap so I could actually test it with the different type of mobs. Spiders don't work because the the uh, the space at the end is only uh, one wide and uh, that is uh, no good. Um, they So I haven't seen any evidence that they will block things up but they won't come down. So here's my skeleton. So there we go. Um, so, that, so that's how it works. Um, uh, oh, the... <sighs> The baby zombies. The baby zombies can fit through here. Um, I've seen people put half slabs up on the top of the opening to prevent them from being able to come through. That works, but I find it's then difficult to see and hit the mobs that are in there. I've seen people then go and put half slabs on, layer this floor as half slabs so that you're a little bit lower. That probably would work. I don't know that I'm going to go back and retrofit the uh, the kill room with that because the other one is definitely skeletons and I don't think I've ever seen anything other than a skeleton come through the trap and I do have my little emergency baby zombie baby zombie uh, uh, safety so the, you know basically you step back over here into the corner the baby zombie will come at you you can deal with them you can kill them they're not that that big of a pain while it closes up and potentially suffocates uh, any other mobs that are in the trap. And you don't need any kind of a drop return or drop feed to you because you're close enough here that the drops are just going to go into your inventory anyway. So that's uh, that's my skeleton spawner uh, that I built. And uh, I think that's it for, for today. Um, I will be back with uh, some other things I have a uh, nether strategy uh, that I mentioned that I'm going to go see if I can implement a little bit and that should be oh, dude. Um, that I'm going to implement and I'll record that and if, if that is interesting at all we will uh, I'll show that to you uh, otherwise I have some stuff here that I'm working on in terms of automated farming and uh, um, I built a chicken farm, automated automatic chicken farm that uh, uh, it's not my design. Um, and I was also playing around with a automated chicken uh, chicken farm here, also not my design. Playing around, evaluating the two, and um, I'm going to I'll show you that. I'm also been playing around with. Uh, just <clears throat> automated smelting um, just doing lots and lots of gold uh, but that's a little preview this is my little uh, workbench creative world and, uh, and then I'll go and implement stuff in, in my survival world and, uh, and record them and show it to you alright um, that's it for today thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye